Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ron again from Wapinas.com, and this is uh, the quick review no, of the Kata X1. So, as you can see here, no, um, you'll need to, of course, since it's brand new, you'll need to update. Okay, the ano, oh, siya. okay. you'll need to update the software in Windows. Ano. So, right now, we have one, two, three, four, five updates that na kailangan, we need to do. So it's still initializing the updates, okay? Another thing that you need to do if you're, you're using a new laptop, okay? Is make sure you create your uh, backup, okay? Recovery system. You'll need a USB or a DVD. Since the Kata X1 doesn't have a CD-ROM drive or DVD drive, you'll need a USB. Um, get something like me uh, around the 16 gig. Uh, the bigger, the better, okay? Because if I remember when I backed up my other laptop, I think it used a 16 or an 8 gig uh, uh, USB, which I don't remember which I, where I put it already. Okay, so of course, the next one that you need to do is make sure if you're using a different browser, like me, I use Mozilla Firefox, you need to install that, okay, and then sync that with your other devices, okay, if you have other laptops that you're using, so that everything that you have been doing will be reflected here in the new laptop so that means basically um your bookmarks your passwords everything else is going to be synced um, as you can see i downloaded it already i already synced it earlier now there's still updates that needs to be configured okay so don't worry it's going to run in the background um okay quick lang i think i didn't mention this in the unboxing you know? okay if you flip your laptop over you'll see one and another one here on the side so those are the speakers okay so if you can see um the bottom of the x1 is slightly curved okay so that works a lot um in favor in terms of the acoustics when you um when you listen to something you listen to music since it's curved yung ilalim okay on the sides uh, okay then it's curved gentle so the speaker is somewhere here the sound is gonna bounce off so if it bounces off it's gonna be uh louder stronger okay so here's the default apps um i use microsoft ah uh mozilla firefox as my my um browser so make sure you use that okay uh the new laptops that come with uh, Windows 10 doesn't have the Movie Maker anymore. Okay, let's check nothing out. Okay, so it's not there. There's no Movie Maker anymore. The, you'll need to down. Um, you'll need to download something else. Your Windows Media Player is still there. Okay, so there's a way uh, to download it. I'll probably get it. Uh, get a new. Do a new video. But just search it on, on YouTube, Google. You'll see a lot of reviews on how to install Windows Movie Maker. Uh, in your laptop if you still want to me personally i i use it for myself because i still that's i'm i'm comfortable in using that uh, uh movie hey guys editor. good morning again uh, so part two to nung, uh, this is the part two for the kata x1 laptop ano, review so as you can see there's three okay so this is this i know this one the first one is for the internal rom or memory of the x1 ano. So right now I've used 21.9 GB out of 28.8. So because of the updates and everything else, okay. I've also added. Na, I've, you've seen it yesterday in the other first part, ano? Na naglagay ako ng SD card. I've cleaned it out, so it's only 0.98, and it also can, as you can see, it can read, and you know, okay, it can read an external drive. I put a one terabyte there, so it's gonna be able. It's able to read it. So, to save space, diba? So, you, kita nyo tong, you see that sorry sense? It's off. So, you need to turn that on so that um, you can erase the old copies of the nan, files that are not needed anymore. Like, pag, when you update Google, diba? Ay, hey guys, Windows, good morning, good afternoon, This is Ron again. So, take three. Um, quick review natin for the Kata X1. Sorry, ha, yung kapit-bahay namin. Uh, the babies crying uh, if you can hear it in the background anyway um 
So once you get the the laptop, of course, as everything goes, uh, any new laptop, you have to upgrade it, diba? update the OS and everything else. So don't worry, the 32 gig or 28.8 is more than available, more than enough to be able to upgrade it to the latest versions uh, that Windows will send you. Okay. So this is the latest right now. Um, I have 12.8 free gig free, 15.9 gig GB used. Uh, one thing that's good. Um, once you're updating, make sure you have a micro SD already. Because when I put it yesterday, the only things on my micro SD initially was files. Now it's 1.19. I'll show you later. Um, so if you want to see exactly what's taking up the type the drive C right now, that's it. Okay. So there's no more temporary files. I've been able to clear it out. There's, you're going to get about 6 to 9 gig of temporary files. Make sure that you erase it after that. After The only thing you need to do is go here, then click it, double click, then uh, erase everything. Okay. <clears throat> now, what I mentioned, um, you need to have your micro SD already installed uh, when you update. Because it's going to transfer files. Okay. So, as you can see, I already have 1.9 gig, 1.09 gig already there. No? Yesterday, I only had uh, documents there. So, when you open it, uh, okay, allow apps from anywhere, okay. So, the Adobe, the Adobe Reader Touch is there, the one that I downloaded yesterday, okay. Uh, the games, these were not here yesterday when I, um, before uh, I finished up dating uh, reminder guys the update is gonna take long it's gonna take a couple of hours it's normal with any new laptop that you use so I suggest leave it on overnight um, see this one so, so this is the one that's eating a lot of the space okay if you notice it's dim okay I'm testing it out on the dim settings uh, if you can see here down downstairs go there I have 95 percent remaining six hours and 44 minutes okay so medyo madilim yeah take it from me pero if you use the maximum brightness okay when i started when i opened it earlier i was using the maximum brightness okay they'll show you later it's gonna that's gonna update it's gonna show you roughly about four hours four and a half hours so if you want your laptop to last longer make sure you're not using it at full brightness okay I have two lights naman here. I'm working at home, so that's why it's not out. So that's the third option. Uh, the last would be the, the apps that I will be installing and if it's going to work and everything else. Thanks, guys. Bye. Well, hi, guys. We're doing the first load for the March of Empires. You know? uh, so we're going to be doing a quick gaming test on the Kata X1. This game was already in the laptop when I upgraded everything you know? so nung after ko ma fully upgrade to the latest version no Windows 10 yung Kata X1 um, I found this installed already if I'm not mistaken this is installed in the um, <coughs> the, no, no, the, the SD card okay so tingnan natin nga kung nandun siya so habang it's loading <coughs> Kagani ko lang kasi ng trangkaso. Okay, um, system. So, like, nyo, reload pa rin siya, no? Okay. Um, storage. Okay. So, yan, no, um, may 11. Okay, hindi kasi nag may dinagay ako dyan mga files. Okay. So, I think 90 din dinagay kong files. Um, apps and games. Ito yung lalabas pag nag-restart ka, no? pag nag-finish ka ng update. So roughly 1 gig plus ang games na in-install. So let's start. This is the first time I played it. So yan, yeah, nakikita nyo yung gameplay. No? So I'm not, ano. Tapos may naka-open pa akong browser niya. Okay. So, so far, it looks like the gameplay is okay naman. Medyo, may very little lag. Okay. So, 
Workable siya. I'll close the ano. Let's close the. Yes. Okay. Start. So speed up now. Gracious, my lord, of heavenly dust of prosperity and glory, your subjects await your command. Continue. No, I'm not gonna buy anything. So, yeah, nakakita nyo, smooth naman yung pag dinadrag mo siya. Okay. Hindi naman nagkaano yung display, no? Okay. So far, it looks good. Um, what else? Okay. Uh, wala siyang ano eh, page down, page, di ba? Uh, ganon. Page up, page down. Okay. So, what we, what you can do, okay, this is something that uh, my friend Rafi showed us. Okay. So, open tayo ulit ng ano, uh, Google browser, no? Okay. So, kung titignan nyo, ayan o. Oh. So, ayan, di ba? So, kung may mouse ka, you can do that. Uh, I'm scoring up and down. Kung pwede, kung gusto mo, oh, move back natin yun. Para nakikita nyo. Ginagawa. Okay. So, pwede din yung ganyan lang. Mabagal. Or, as Rafi showed us or told us, di ba? There's two ways, no? Two fingers on the numpad. It doesn't work on the other laptops, ha? Dito, it works. Di ba? Sabay lang. Okay. If you want to close the ano, makita mo kung ano yung mga open ano mo, three fingers. It closes, okay? Goes back to the home the desktop. Go up, di ba? Makikita mo ngayon kung yung open tabs mo. Three fingers down goes to the desktop. So basically okay. that's those, those are the quick ano no, quick tips that I can give you about the window uh, Kata X1 Windows laptop. Okay. So in terms of build naman ano, so ako I like the build nito. Um it's way is super um gaan, lighter compared to the Acer that I'm using right now no. So tingnan mo, just, wala halos walang tumutunog. Ay, namatay yung ilaw. Pag ginaganon ko, okay? So kaya siya, it's made of plastic. Ito is a micro HDMI port, uh, the USB, okay? Ito ay yung uh power cord jam okay if you turn it around again eh, may kita pa yung kinain ko ano. okay dito yung micro SD slot okay i have a 64 uh, 32 gig na nan jam uh, kaya daw up to 124 no pero masyado na mahal um as you can see this is the dongle for the uh, mouse i'm using i'm using rapu eh, ito yung sa headset okay um both ports are using USB 3.0. Kita nyo blue. So thanks guys and thanks for watching. This is available for pre-order already in Kata stores and kiosks. Um, uh, order niya. If you're looking for a, a laptop that's, you know, value for the money. 32 gig lang yung RAM, yung RAM niya pero expandable naman with um, micro SD card, you know? um, In terms of performance, you saw kanina yung gaming. Okay naman yung sa games. Um, sounds, malakas yung sounds Hindi lang akong play ng sounds kasi Price wise, the price is nga Napaka affordable lang is, uh, Less than 10,000 pesos ano? It's uh, 9999 um, It's a quad core uh, Laptop using a 2GB ROM ARAM So, pwede na So thanks guys for watching Don't forget to subscribe Let me know if you have comments Thanks, bye